Okay, aloha. We're doing another ukulele comparison video in concert size ukuleles. These ones starting a little under 200 and going up uh, through 300s and 400s. Uh, stuff in there that, that you should probably look at if you're interested in that. Um, if you want a video of showing 200s and down, we made that video too. You can check that one out. And these prices I'm going to be quoting in here are the list prices and the 20% uh, uh, off price that we sell at, um, which is why I call it a la carte price. Um, if you want it bundled together with a gig bag, it's a little bit more for that. And that's what you usually see on our website is bundled together with a gig bag. Okay. Ukes. So here is, we're going to call this our, our new sort of standard that we're going to compare back to uh, for all the ukes in this video. This is the KASCG concert sized solid spruce top laminate mahogany back and sides. Normally when you're talking about solid woods, it's moving to a solid wood top that makes the difference rather than the back and sides. Um, but we'll see if the microphones uh, prove that out in truth as we play through some here. So I'll play, uh, what should I play? Let's do a Hawaiian vamp. Pretty good uke. 183 bucks after the sale. Good choice. Let's compare that to a version of it that has, um, this is kind of interesting, it's the same wood combination. Solid spruce top, mahogany sides and back. But see how this one's thin and has an arched back. It's arched in two different directions. Kind of a nice, sophisticated design there. Let's compare these two back and forth. This one, after the discount, is a $207.99, but it includes a gig bag. So if you factor in the price of the gig bag, it's pretty close to the one we were just looking at here in terms of price. Let's do a comparison in the tone between the two, see what the microphone shows. Pretty screaming uke. depth and the low end I think. Let's do something more intricate. So it really reveals itself in the finger style that this has a little bit more warmth to it than the other one. Whether you like that or not has a lot to do with your taste in ukulele. Um, the travel uke, some people like it just because it's so thin, it's a, especially portable and comfortable, but these are pretty portable too, especially compared to a guitar or something. Um, okay, let's compare now this to this guy would be the next one up. Same top wood, solid spruce, but the back on this is a ebony instead of a mahogany. This one's ebony, this one's mahogany. In terms of the price, the one with the ebony is 231 and some change. This one's 183 and some change. So we'll see how much of a tonal difference the ebony makes. By the way, there's also a little tuning gear difference on here. This is a closed back tuning gear, which I'm always tend to prefer. This one is an open back tuning gear, but at least it does have a full clamp around that. Those are full clamps, like in this area where my finger is here, that go all the way around the beam. And that does make a difference. But still, you gotta worry about sand and stuff if you're in a sand environment. All right. Let's play them back and forth, make sure they're both tuned. Okay, here we go. The SCG first. Um, let's do a quick strum and then a, uh, then we'll compare the finger style. Now the ebony back. difference. I'll play this one again. Nothing wrong with that. This one's just a little bit better. <laughs> if I'm playing ukulele, I'm going to sound a little bit better on this one. It's not fair. That's just, it's a better instrument and it's the wood. The other thing, I like the matte finish on this. It's got a really nice feel as opposed to the glass on this one. 
but again that's kind of the you know beauties in the eye of the beholder but i like the way they finish this one very nice feel on the edge of the fretboards and stuff this one's a good uke okay let's compare now the next one up would be to go to this solid mahogany so that's going to be this guy what's interesting about this is that this is solid mahogany all around it's solid front sides back same wood. Some people like this because it's got that darker feel. It also has a little bit of a warmer tone. Um, but we'll see if the mics show that. Compare back to the spruce. This has just got a little more tone in other parts of the spectrum that this one doesn't. I think this probably has a little bit more volume than this one does, um, but this one has a little overall better ringing tone. Now it costs more to get that, and you've moved to all solid woods. Um, again, this one for comparison is 259 and some change after the sale, and this one is 183 and some change. So you would expect it should sound, if it didn't sound better, that'd be a problem, right? Um, and we'll show if that's the case, you know, we'll be fair about it and, and tell the truth on it. Um, so I think this is a better uke for some scenarios. If I were just doing outright solos, like let's do some little solo. And now the spruce. You hear the difference a little more on the finger style, right? is this one. So this one's a little smoother. Does smoother make you sound better? It, it makes a difference. I mean, you, working on your technique, of course, is really, really important. That's why we put together Jason's ukulele book and we do the, the tutorials on how to play better on YouTube and stuff. But, um, if just the uke itself makes you sound better, is that worth investing in? And, to me it is, that's, you know, but everybody's got a budget and priorities and depends on a number of other stuff. So let's see, what else is there? After the mahogany, next one up in price is gonna be the cedar. I like the cedar. Let's show that. So sorry, I keep getting all these texts from my wife. I don't know if they pertain to me or not. Are they important? Not important, okay. But honey, if you watch this, if it is important, I immediately drop the video and, and come to your rescue, whatever it is. Okay. Ooh, this one's nice. Okay, so this is a cedar top, solid cedar top. Golden acacia sides and back. And this is a uh, paduke is the binding wood. It's, it's like a, looks like a cherry almost. Very pretty. Slotted headstock. Um, open tuning gear, but a pretty strong tuning gear. Um, that's part of what comes with slotted headstocks designs. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Let's see. Let's start with a vamp. Oh, yeah. This one's a screaming uke. Compare it back to our, our bass line here. So this one didn't sound bad, but it doesn't sound like this. It's a different wood. Which one's better? That depends a lot on your tastes and tone. Um, this one, I think, The 
do you hear the, the improvement in the clarity on this? So if I'm going to play a ukulele and I want it to sound as good as I possibly can, obviously I want the better ukulele in my hands, and this one is a better ukulele. But it does cost more to get to it. This one jumps up to $303.99 after the sale. So it's like uh, $120 more than this one. Is it worth it for me? Uh, yeah. Um, but, you know, it depends on your style of play and how important to you is that those subtleties and tone that you work so hard on technique to get to, it's like when you have a uke that responds to it, is that an advantage? Yeah, that's an advantage. Um, but this one held up pretty well. It is 120 bucks less, so that's something to consider. Okay, next one to look at to compare to this one would be the um, this guy, which is the same top, solid spruce top, but flame maple side and back. It's a spalted maple, very pretty wood. And the maple does improve the tone. Let's do a comparison here. Also, it's a different neck instead of the, um, this is mahogany, this is a maple. Okay, we'll start with the vamp. Compare back to this one. It's a lot about those overtones. The other things you hear, this one kind of has it there, but it's it's sort of by comparison with the other ukes that we're comparing, um, this one doesn't um, sing quite the same. It's got the um, it's got the volume, but it doesn't have the sophistication in the tone. And the, the more and the better you play ukulele, the more you want an instrument that will bring out that sophistication and tone. Let's do some finger style to compare back and forth. Um, what should we play? This one, I'm just gonna sound like a better ukulele player. I mean, I'm the same ukulele player, and I didn't like play anything more sophisticated. It's just this one just sings better, just sounds better. So, how important is that to get the maple back as opposed to the mahogany back on your solid spruce top? In terms of the volume, it doesn't make that much of a change, but in terms of the sophistication of the tone, which has a lot to do with the overtones, and it does. I mean, looking at that, it's like you might just say, God, I gotta pick it up and play it. And that'll make you get better too, so that counts too. Beauty isn't a bad thing. It's only bad if beauty has, if all the effort in a uke has gone into making it pretty instead of making it sound good. All right, let's do a couple more comparisons here. I'm gonna bring two other ukes, a little higher price than this, over to compare. And we'll see if they're better. And if they are, in what ways? Okay, this is, next one on the list would be to go to this guy, actually. This is a very pretty uke, and it's subtle. It's, uh, it's flame maple, all solid. Flame maple. Slotted headstock. Very good tuning gears on this one. Um, just you can feel it when you turn them you're like that is a nice tuning gear. It's again the difference is it's got a full U that goes all the way around the beam. That makes a big difference. Uh, let's play it and see if it's better or how it's different. This one by the way, the all solid flame maple after the sale would be about 375 and some change uh, to compare prices. to it, a very subtle play. Let's play this one now. So if I were just going 
head to head with a guitar, I might prefer this one and it costs well, like almost $200 less. But if I'm looking for subtleties in my play, um, So if you've got a nice touch on a uke, you can make this one sing really, really nicely, even if it doesn't have quite as much sheer volume as this one. Juke. Very, very pretty, but we are running up now significantly higher in price, uh, $375 for this one after the sale. So let's compare to one more, this one, which is the All Solid Acacia. Acacia is a wood very similar to Koa. Nice inlay on the fretboard also. But it's a lot less expensive than Koa. It's not as good as Koa, but it's... Um, Nice shoot. Well, well, we'll we'll let the microphones tell the story. But we'll start with the vamp. Compare back to our. test this one doesn't show me what it can do let's try a finger style Let's compare the solid acacia to the, because um, these two are closer in price, up in this price range. Let's compare these two directly to each other. Um, this is uh, 403 and some change after the sale. This one's 375 and some change. This is a better uke. So, beauty's in the eye of the beholder, and, and some people say, I want an all solid wood uke. If you want an all solid wood uke, this one's all solid. This one's all solid. This one costs less of the two, and I think sounds better. This one costs more, and I think sounds not as good, but that's to my ear. You get to listen. We've got two high-end microphones here recording, and if you play them back on, uh, the better the speakers, the more you'll hear the subtleties. I like this one better than this one, and it's less expensive. But again, some people like the darker wood. If you like the darker wood, I won't go too long on this video, but... Um, once you some, sometimes the best way to find out is just go back and forth. Let's compare these two. Remember this guy, solid mahogany, versus this guy acacia. Now, like acacia is a little more interesting visually than the mahogany. I'll grant that. Um, the binding's a little nicer around the edge, in my opinion. Uh, but let's play them side by side and see what the microphones say. This is the mahogany. Again, the price on the mahogany is $2.59 and some change. And now the all solid 
acacia. Is that better? Again, that's the mahogany at 259. Here's the SAC, Solid Acacia, at 403. Boy, that's a very similar uke. For $140 more, if you like a darker wood uke, and if you don't like the spruce colors, that lighter colored wood, and you want a solid concert in a darker colored wood, I think this one's the better buy, and it's less expensive by 140 bucks. Like to me, if a if a uke's not um, not better, no, like it, it needs to be able to show that it's notably better for me to want to invest in something. But again, beauty's in the eye of the beholder, and um, there's nothing wrong with this uke. This is a good uke. It's just that this one you should also consider at the same time if you're looking at the two. Um, once you're up in the 400s, there are some other ukes that start getting, you know, for not that much more. If you go to 500, 600, 700, there's another batch of ukes we could look at. That would be a different video. Um, but I think the standouts in this price range, well, it all depends on your point of view, I guess. Um, I think this, is, again, our baseline, pretty good uke. This is the SCG. This one's 183. But if you're going up above that, this one I think really has a better tone. That's the spruce top ebony back, the SSEBYC. For 231, I think that's worth jumping to. I think if you like darker colored woods, this one, the mahogany, uh, which is SMHC at 259, is a better buy than this one, the SAC, because this one is 140 bucks less than this one. Um, I'm a big fan, again, of this cedar. That's good uke. Comparing these two together is interesting. This is the flame maple again, compared to the um, solid cedar top and acacia back. Uh, let's do these side by side. I'm sorry this is running long, but sometimes this is the best way to really show it. Versus. say that one of these is better but they're different this is a little warmer this one's a little brighter so that might be just preference if I really wanted to get more into fingerstyle soloing I think this might be a better uke um, but it's subtle and uh, if you like a warmer tone and I tend to like warmer tones from time to time the cedar top's a good one too. So we're up about 25 minutes, so I guess uh, this is about 10 minutes longer than I wanted to go, sorry about that. But hopefully it gave you a good showing of what ukes are out there if you start getting into solid woods without going into like the the handmade and Hawaiian made and, and, and those things, which would be a different video. But hopefully this helps, and um, any questions, you can always give us a holler at Lahaina Music or check our website, lahainamusicmaui.com. Or uh, come by and visit us, visit us uh, in person <laughs> as soon as you can <laughs> on Maui. Here we are. And uh, thanks for uh, watching and aloha. Leave a comment if you like or click like or subscribe or something. <laughs>